Okay, this is a uh, deflection yoke from a BNK television analyst that's been disassembled. The magnets have been removed, and uh, one of the co vertical coils is open. And it's been taken apart. Let me see this. And uh, the uh, coils open here between these two points. So we're gonna try to tack solder that back together and see if we can get that coil fixed because there's this is the third one of these I repaired and they always have these green spots on the windings and you just have to find the green spot where it's actually eaten through uh, and right there is where it's eaten through you can see where I have the two ends that were burnt lifted up what I'll do is I'll just bridge them. Alright, well here's a look at the 1077B and the uh, removed CRT and yoke. I have the completed yoke here with good continuity now on the vertical side ready to be reinstalled. And I have the picture tube over here which is uh, a pretty unusual tube. Um, it's probably a five inch round and you can see the darker area in the center. That's probably where the it maybe it got burnt, maybe it got left on with no vertical and uh, burn that mark in there. And we'll see how that affects the overall instrument once I get it all. Okay, prepared. so I got the CRT installed. The yoke mounting bracket. I'm not sure about this uh, this spring here, where that goes exactly. I'll have to study another one of these. Got the end cap put on and I'm plugged in, all ready to give this thing a dry run. Let's cross our fingers. Bring it up on standby first. And uh, you see we got some tube filaments going here. looking good. Just let everything warm up and then I'll throw it into uh, operate and keep an eye on the screen here and see what we get. Here we go. So far, no cigar, so. To get into it a little bit and see why it's almost like we don't have high voltage or something. There's a horizontal output over there. Alright, well, here's a look at what happens when you put something away for six months and don't work on it. I had this resistor taken off the terminal strip for uh, those testing value of the resistor. So let me get that back in position. Try again. Okay, well here we are. We've got the uh, full deflection now. Um, after that resistor was soldered back in. I don't know if you can see, but right about here's the burn mark, I believe. From the, the vertical being out, so I'm gonna keep working on it. See, I don't got some adjustments to make. I don't quite have 100% deflection, and the sides are bowling in a little bit. But hey, it's a lot better than it was before. It was just a straight line. Okay, well here's another look at it actually running. I got my um, Indian head pattern on there. Over here on the TV, there he is. But you can see pretty substantial burn mark in the CRT. So this one, uh, this B and K might not be as usable as I'd hope. But you know, I can always get another CRT from a another one's junk unit or something eventually. But there it is. <laughs> 